Hello and welcome to this overview of the Northeast Transmission System Improvement Project located in Hartford County and Baltimore County, Maryland. Baltimore Gas and Electric, or BGE, is proposing six major improvements. They include the expansion of the Raphael Road Switching Station, an upgrade and replacement of the 230 kV transmission line between the Raphael Road Switching Station and the Bagley Substation a new Bagley substation, which was completed in 2012, an upgrade and replacement of the 230 kV transmission line between the Bagley and the Grayston substations, rebuilding the Grayston substation, and adding a second 230 kV line between Grayston and the Conestone substations. These proposed projects will help BGE strengthen the overall reliability of its system for customers and plan for growing demand in the area. The purpose of this video is to explain and illustrate the proposed projects and BGE's role in providing electricity to the region. BGE plays an important role in the region by serving more than 1.2 million businesses and residential electric customers in a 2,300 square mile area. BGE also provides natural gas to more than 655,000 customers over an 800 square mile area that includes Baltimore City and all or part of 10 central Maryland counties. BGE works to make sure electricity is available when it is needed by getting it from the power plant to places where it is needed, such as homes, businesses, schools, hospitals, etc. It takes several steps. Most electricity is generated at power plants using coal, oil, gas, wind, or nuclear fuels. Energy created at these facilities travels through transmission lines to either a switchyard or a substation. Electricity then travels through distribution lines to homes and businesses safely and reliably. The proposed projects are required to meet federal standards and are needed to strengthen the overall reliability of BGE system. The projects allow BGE to meet forecasted energy demand increases by the year 2017 and comply with the standards of the North American Electric Reliability Corporation. BGE is also required to comply with the PJM guidelines for maintaining electric reliability across the regional transmission system. The PJM Interconnection is a federally regulated regional transmission organization. PJM coordinates the largest centrally dispatched electric grid in North America, including Maryland. PJM acts independently and impartially to ensure the reliability of the grid. The six proposed projects discussed in this video will allow BGE to continue to provide reliable service to customers in the region. The first proposed project is the expansion of the Raphael Road switching station located in the Bradshaw area in Baltimore County scheduled for completion in 2017. The second proposed project is located between the Raphael Road switching station and the Bagley substation. This project consists of replacing an existing 230 kV transmission line with a new double circuit 230 kV line. The line will run north from the Raphael Road switching station and stay within the existing 150 foot BGE right of way. By keeping the transmission line within the existing right-of-way, BGE is able to reduce land use as well as minimize environmental and visual impacts. This proposed transmission line project ends just north of Harford Road, where it connects with the Bagley substation near Falston in Harford County. The third proposed project is the construction of the new Bagley substation located in the Falston area. This project was completed in 2012. The fourth proposed project is located between the Bagley and Grayston substations. This project consists of replacing an existing 230 kV transmission line with a new double circuit 230 kV line. The line will run north from the new Bagley substation and stay within the existing 150 foot BGE right of way. Again, staying within the existing right-of-way reduces impacts.
This proposed transmission line project ends in northern Hartford County, where it connects with the Grayston substation near Pilesville. The following is a typical construction sequence that demonstrates the process of constructing these new transmission lines. The new replacement lines will be built just to the east of the existing lines and will consist of steel poles rather than the lattice tower design. Once they are in place, the existing lattice tower line will be removed. The design of the new pole lines keep them within the existing right-of-way and allows BGE to use construction methods that minimize impacts to adjacent landowners. Construction could begin as early as spring 2014 and will take place in stages. It will begin with right-of-way preparation and installation of roads in areas with limited access to existing rights-of-way. Any disturbance to the area will be kept to a minimum. Construction access roads may become permanent so crews can maintain the line in the future. Some trees and vegetation along the right-of-way will have to be trimmed or cleared to current standards to ensure nothing interferes with the new poles and wires. For safety reasons, the first step in replacing the lattice towers will be to change the configuration of the line suspension system so conductors are pulled away from areas where crews will be working. This stabilizes the line and prevents wind from blowing the line into the work area. As soon as the lattice towers are modified, crews will begin installing concrete foundations for the new steel poles. While taller than the existing towers in some areas, the new poles are much slimmer and keep the line within existing right-of-way. When the new poles are all in place, new wires will be pulled into position on the east side. Residents will notice specialized equipment in the area during this stage of construction. BGE will energize the new line and begin removing the existing towers. The second 230 kV circuit will be installed on the west side of the new poles. Upon completion, BGE will clean and restore the construction sites and remove temporary access roads where possible. The fifth proposed project is the rebuild of the Grayston substation. This 230 to 115 kV substation will be built in conjunction with the improvements to the transmission lines. The sixth proposed project is located between the Grayston and Conestone substations. It requires the relocation of an existing 115 kV transmission line to new structures from the Grayston substation to the Five Forks switching station. It also includes adding a new 230 kV circuit to the existing double circuit towers from the Grayston substation to the Conestone substation. BGE considered several alternate routes, but determined that using the existing right-of-way and structures was preferred. This is the most direct route and eliminates the need for a new right-of-way. It also reduces land use and minimizes environmental and visual impacts to the surrounding area. The existing 115 kV circuit must be relocated so the second 230 kV circuit can occupy the north side of the tower line. Because the line will be positioned close to the northern edge of the existing right-of-way line, tree trimming will be necessary. Roughly two-thirds of this route will require some type of tree and vegetation clearing activity. Once the right-of-way is cleared, B 
BGE will install concrete foundations for the new 115 kV poles. When the poles are fully constructed, the new 115 kV conductor wire will be pulled into position and BGE will clean and restore the work area. BGE will then add a second 230 kV line to the now vacant north side of the tower line between the Grayston and Conestone substations. Construction of this segment will involve changing the configuration of the line suspension system on a small percentage of structures. Conductors will be pulled away from vegetation and the right-of-way boundary. Vegetation may have to be cleared in some areas if it has grown into or interferes with the right-of-way. Crews will reinforce approximately two-thirds of the existing structures. This will ensure that they can safely support the addition of the second 230 kV line. Once the existing towers are modified, BGE will install the new 230 kV conductor on the north side of the line. Residents may notice specialized equipment in the area during this phase of construction as the line is pulled into place. When construction is complete, BGE will clean up the construction site and remove temporary access roads where possible. Thank you for attending the open house and watching this video. We appreciate your patience as we work to enhance the electric system serving you and customers throughout Central Maryland. We will continue to work closely with the community and property owners to make sure that the construction process proceeds as smoothly as possible.